Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 73rd episode of Hikaru no Go. Now, let's just get into it and see Hikaru play some more Go because we went without that for a while and I just kind of need more of that in my life, so let's do it. 3, 2, 1, play. You know, initially, I thought it was a little bit weird that Sai would be in an opening so much when he's no longer, you know, in the show. But if I take it as if, as it's supposed to be a representation that Sai is always with him, even if he's not really visibly around, then it makes a bit more sense. You know what, Kari? When I first started watching this show, I thought she'd be a lot more relevant than she ended up being. Like... I don't know, I just kind of imagined her being more directly involved with more of Hikaru's stuff. Like, her also... You know, improving alongside of him. I mean, I know she does technically get better as the show goes on, but it's just... Basically what I'm trying to say is she ended up being more of a background character than I expected. I thought she'd be like a, a more directly involved love interest kind of character. Yeah, good old Isumi. China did good for him. Yeah, last episode they were doing a lot of talking about how the new batch of... Uh, Fresh pros are going to take the world by storm. Oh yeah, there's also that. So basically last episode talking about how things are changing was the big theme of it. A new wave as they put it. Their faded battle coming up soon enough. Shindo versus Toya. Are you serious? Are we really going to actually get that match in this episode? Because that'd be pretty crazy. A study session. Yeah, so I've heard... Yeah, what'd he do? Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Thank you for beating Toya. <laughs> uh, oh well. Well, hopefully we get that soon. Maybe this episode, if the title is to be believed. Oh. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> yeah, I remember that now. But yeah, considering the title, I still have trouble believing we're gonna get the match this episode. I mean, we might get set up for this for the match this episode, but yeah, it's uh, pretty bold. <laughs> Yeah, I look forward to, well, not so much the result, I just want to see that match. The result doesn't matter too much, I just want to see them battle.
of course. A lot. Easier to play. He's focused. He's good. Anyone, <laughs> nice. Well, the show's almost over, so. What I meant was that after 70 episodes, if he didn't get good, he was never going to get good. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that wind. <sighs> Boom. That could be heard from miles away. And now he's home. Oh, does he have a letter? Okay, I guess we're gonna have our match scheduled, finally. Two weeks. So yeah, probably won't be this episode then. Bum bum. I love this music so much. One of my favorite. This probably is my favorite soundtrack in the show. Like I could have this play as background music to any cool thing that I'm doing. We can't start until we play. <clears throat> but I'm still here. <sighs> I'm sure he will. Nobody knows uh, the situation as well as he does. I am sure it will be. I'm sure when we do our match, both people will come come away from it satisfied. I'm pretty pretty sure. <clears throat> it will not be like that uh, disaster tournament way back in the day. <sighs> hey, Akari. And she spots Hikaru. She's gonna go say hi. It's <clears throat> <laughs> gonna silently follow him. Is that what we're doing? Not gonna say hi or anything. Oh, there we go. How do you not notice when a cute girl follows you? Seriously. Well, stern face does not necessarily mean nervousness. It could just be focus and, you know, deep thinking about various things. <clears throat> it is very special. It is the most special match we could possibly have in this show.
<laughs> well, oh wow, we got a bit of a blush from her on that one. I mean, she'd destroy you. But I guess we give her a pretty big handicap. <clears throat> but I'm sure she's just excited to be able to spend time with him at all. Considering how neglected she's been in the show. And how, you know, distant he's been lately. He's definitely matured since the show began, that's for sure. You're taller? <laughs> wow, that's not true. Don't be mean. You, know, you never really shrink, at least not until you get really old. <laughs> oh, but this is nice, though. Time to head out. I guess we don't get to see them play go together or anything. Bum, bum, bum. This is also one of my favorite tracks. And there's Toya. Maybe we actually will get the match started this episode. It actually looks like it could be the case. Like, I can hardly believe it, even after reading the title, but it's starting to seem like it, so we got it scheduled. We got them walking out of their respective homes dramatically. So we could. Yeah, I don't think he'd be very happy. Uh, that... Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's do our best. I kind of miss little Wyatt. <laughs> That's definitely possible. <laughs> Uh, let's not bring that up, though, I guess. Oh, wow, cool. Oh, wow, good job, Isumi. So proud of you. <laughs> Uh, senpai. Yeah. He was just fighting himself, you know. I'm not sure that... I don't see how that's stupid. I mean, I can understand if you're butthurt about it, but it doesn't make it stupid. It's just that's kind of how it works. New pros come in every year. And old pros retire, you know. The cycle of proness. And there he is. Right next to Ochi for whatever reason. But here he is. Ah, uh, this music. Like a final boss just walked in. No hug or anything? Okay. It's all been building up to this, though. Oh. 
Were they talking? <laughs> okay. I mean, how much chatting do you, did you expect Toya to do? Oof. I mean, now that I think about it, yeah, Toya did have a lot of interactions with Ochi because of the, the training that he did. I kind of forgot about that. That's true. We'll, we'll learn a lot from playing. Well, it's true. It was true all along. <laughs> yeah, do your best, why? Yeah, the way things are going, we might have like the very start of the match this episode, but we definitely won't have time for the full thing. I'll we'll probably just get. The we'll probably episode will probably end right before it begins. Maybe we'll get a little bit of it. Yeah, that's been that was a long time ago. Yeah, and that was also one of the saddest parts of the show. You know, before the side is appearing stuff. It's a long time. Like, it's been a long time since we played. <laughs> it's just, it's looked so young back then. They've had a very weird friendship in this show. But they've thought about each other a lot, so... <sighs> it's so weird to see them actually talking again. It's my turn. <laughs> yeah, I may have wasted a few weeks of it or so, you know, dealing with the side stuff, but aside from that, no, I have not been wasting it at all. Oof. And you can feel the tenseness, the tension, whatever you call it. Begin. Let's see. Okay. That's even number, right? Onegashimasu. And it begins. It finally begins. There's no one here, it's just us. We actually have at least a couple minutes left of the episode, so we should get a little bit of it. Nick Carter makes the first move. Oh, that's a fast response. Yeah. Kind of flex on Hikaru, I see. Uh, it seems like what Hikaru was doing to that one guy before. 
Yeah, we have plenty of time. Calm down. He's been waiting for this for a long time. He's like a boy on Christmas Day. Even if it doesn't show on his face, but still. He's excited, trust me. He's probably visualized games in his head of, with you for a while. Yeah, we can find the corner. It's all good. Uh... Definitely mutual. Yeah. So we did get a little bit of game started, that's good. But the bulk of it we'll have to wait till next time, unfortunately. But yeah, we're definitely excited about this, we're into it. <sighs> Music in my thing. Yeah, I want to say the heart one first every time. I don't know why. Yes, the heart one is second. Why don't I remember that? But all I know is that music is their thing, so. And if something's your thing, I guess that means it's located in your heart, which makes sense. I can believe that. This is the odd choice of a song for an ED for this show. Because it's not a music show. Like, I don't fully understand that. I mean, the idea of harmony, I can understand to a degree. How that fits, but... I don't know. Go, go, ego, yeah. Onegashimasu. Mai Yuki. <laughs> it looks so much less cool when they place the stones than it does in the show. It is like, okay, let's get it here just right. Whereas in the show, it's like, you know, but not here. But it does have that Hikaru no go music playing in the background, which is makes it better, definitely. Okay. Well, that was the 73rd episode of Hikaru no go, and we finally began the legendary match where we'll get the divine move, and it's only a matter of time until we get there. Because it's already the die have been cast, we're already we're already moving. We've got this underway, and uh, that's what we've been, we've been building up to for a long time. Like they even mentioned, it's been a very long time. I think they said a year and four months. I want to say something like that, maybe longer. But it's it's been a while. Like I feel like they used to play more together more often before that gap. But yeah, once that gap happened, it's been a long time, and, and we just basically just been uh, anticipating it for a while. Yeah. Akira, you know, he never really looks happy or excited, generally, so his emotions can be a little bit hard to read sometimes, but you can definitely tell he's he's excited about this, like this, he's been working towards this for a while, he's wanted Hikaru to come chase after him so they could have this game, and we're having it, we're having it, we're together, our black and white stones are dancing on the board, and it's, we'll make beautiful music, you know, as the ED theme goes. And that was basically the thing, the only thing that really mattered in the episode for the most part. I mean, we had a little bit of conversations with various these side characters and stuff. But, I mean, nothing that really makes me want to, you know, talk about it in any meaningful way. But we did get a little bit of Akari stuff, which I liked, you know. They did comment about her being kind of uh, neglected a little bit during the opening. I was talking about that, so it's kind of funny that we got that uh, of, of her, like a little bit coincidental. So, but Hikaru was worrying, worrying a little bit about whether or not he'll measure up to Akira's expectations because Sai is gone now. So he was just kind of hoping that it'll, it'll be fine, you know. So he's a little bit worried about that, it seems like, but I'm sure it will all work out. 
and Isumi. Isumi apparently passed and I'm going to become a pro, which is great. It's, it's, I'm really happy for Isumi. Like, he really was a real struggle for him for a while. So to see him come this far through everything, it's great to see. Like, that's probably the second biggest thing of the episode was that announcement. Of course, it was funny when Wyatt brought up the idea of that, uh, you know, this whole rivalry thing, you think that's something that only we think about? He's like, no, don't don't talk about that. It's taboo, okay? We don't want to acknowledge that we're so insignificant to them that they don't care, you know? That was pretty funny. Probably the funniest part of the opening of the episode. But yeah, it's crazy to think how far we've come since that last match. When Hikaru was just a complete and absolute disappointment to Akira, which honestly makes sense. It makes sense why Hikaru was a little bit worried about measuring up to, you know, Akira's expectations because he didn't last time. Last time he was a joke to him, basically to the point where Hikaru was extremely visibly upset. So yeah, I can definitely see that kind of leaving a bit of a wound in Hikaru, you know. But uh, yeah, he's got a lot. But he's gotten a lot better since then. A nine day difference, so. I'm sure I'm sure it'll be a great game. So I'm looking forward to it, seeing how like how it goes next episode. And usually with uh, any kind of match and any kind of show, the result is usually what I care about most, but not really here. Like I don't really care that much who wins this match. Like I mean, at the, at the end of the day, I root for Ricardo, I guess, but I just want to see this match. I want to see them get into it. I want to see them both be satisfied by the end of it. That's really what I, where my focus is right now. So I do hope that we get a good game next time. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.